Hey everyone, this is Tom Hall from the Blue Root team, here to show you Zoho WorkDrive. At the highest level, Zoho WorkDrive is a file sharing platform for you to share and collaborate on files and documents across your organization. So let's jump right into it. I'm actually in the Zoho Remotely suite of products here. And all I'll do is I'll just click WorkDrive here. What this will do is it'll open up WorkDrive for me and allow me to begin using the application. So just to show you all of it, you have kind of your dashboard, your navigation pane over here, some of your settings uh, up here, um, and then just where you are at the top. So I'm under my folders right now. So let's go through each of this. Let's start on the navigation pane and, and kind of go through each of them. So starting here at the top, all unread, basically an unread um, file, for example, would be something that maybe your teammate has uploaded, but you actually haven't seen it yet. That's the idea of an unread file, and it allows you to keep track of, hey, who's uploading what, and, and what am I behind on, if anything. Recent files, so things that I've recently looked at or have recently been uploaded will pop into here. Favorites will, anyone that I've starred as a favorite will show here. So as an example, I could right click here, this file, set it as a favorite. And now in my favorites, that's gonna show up. My folders, these are any folders that I've created. And I'll talk about folders in just a second. And then shared folders, any folders that a teammate has shared are part of me created, but then shared with me. So those are your ones off the bat. Then we get to team folders here. So the one that's by default is general. And within the general, I can make folders here, just like this under new folder. So the important question to first answer is, hey, what's the difference between a folder I do here and a team folder? Well, the biggest difference is, is the ability to set permissions. So permissions are set on a team folder basis. So for example, if I only want myself to see something, then I need to put it in its own team folder. If I only want myself and a teammate, I need to put it, create another team folder and then make up both of us people who can access that folder. This one here, general, is your default folder and it's public and it's uh, accessible by everyone. So now that I'm in here, what are things that we can do? So for starters, I showed you this quickly here, but I can add things to this folder. So I can add a folder itself. So I can say new folder one as an example. So, and then there I could click in and I can begin interacting within the folder. So what are things I can do within the folder? The exact same things will show up if I click this. So here, once again, I have these three things and I'll talk about them in a second. But the more common ones is I could upload a file from my computer. So clicking this and then my uh, editor or so part of me, my Windows Explorer will show up. I can do a folder upload. So I can, once again, my Windows Explorer will show up or Mac Explorer if you're using that. And you can choose a whole folder to upload. Or finally, you could import it from a cloud. So I could choose this option and I have preset options here. So I can import it from Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, OneDrive, or even Evernote. So I can do each of those things. And then I skipped over them, but then he, here are things, and this is how you, get, you can begin collaborating on a single document as a team. So just like you guys might be familiar with Google Sheets, Zoho has a comparable product, which come um, with your Zoho Remotely or Zoho One um, license. <clears throat> so what they are are Zoho Writer, which is a, a Word doc, for example, Zoho Sheet, which is like Excel, and then Zoho Show, which is kind of like PowerPoint. So just to choose an example, I click the writer here, and what it'll open up is actually a brand new writer document for me, and I can begin writing in it. And what's great about this is I can begin collaborating on it. So this is a new document. Once I feel happy about it, I'll hit mark it as ready. And then now this is a new document. And what's great about this, like I said before, you can share it and collaborate on it. So now that if I refresh, I can see that this is a document here that I've created. Um, and 
I can choose to click into it, use it again, but there's also other things that I can do with it. So let's look at what those other things are. And all I'd have to do to see those other things is right click, and I can see a bunch of them. So I could open it, I could preview it, so I can get a quick preview here. Um, takes a second to load, so there it is. This is a new document. I can see the properties, so that includes how big it is and, and the folder location. This is a really common one, share. So I can add team members. So if I wanted to collaborate on it, I could do that here. I could share with an external party. So I can actually create a new share link. So new share link. And this, I use this all the time personally. And this allows me to let other someone see someone externally view it or even edit it if I need to do that. And so I can just set the permission with this dropdown. The other thing that this allows you to do also is a new embed link. So I could actually write this. So I'll just call this new embed link and it'll give me a part of embed code. And this will actually give me code that I can use to embed this on my website, which is, which is pretty cool. So I can just use this. It's, it's a piece of code. I paste that on my website and now that document will be available on my website. So, Continuing down, I won't go through each one, but I could comment on it. Um, I could set it as a favorite. I could copy, paste it, rename it, move it, zip it, download it, or trash it. So standard file things that hopefully most people are familiar with. So that's basically it. That's how you can add new folders, create new um, files within those folders. Real quickly, I'll show you because I touched on it as a team folder how to do that. And you can see here, this is where the permissions come in. So I can call this a new team folder. And you can see here, I can make it public or I can choose to make it private and then invite specific people to the, <coughs> to the folder itself. And so this is where I can do it. I can add them by email or I can choose members. Um, sorry, I can add them by email. All I'd have to do is type in their email here. I think there's a Richard, no. But if I did have other people in my organization, I could type in their email here and then just hit add. And they'd be added to this private folder. And then I can just go to team folder and there it is. So the last thing I wanna show you is something that's pretty cool. And one of the my favorite things about Zoho WorkDrive is the ability to integrate it with your desktop. So I can save something to my desktop and it'll automatically go into WorkDrive. So how do I do that? I go into here, these three dots here. It gives me some information about my account, but most importantly, it's this here. So download WorkDrive apps. So depending what you're using, you can desktop for Windows here, iPad or iPhone, or even iAndroid. All of these things are available. And so you can access WorkDrive from each of these individual things. So this is my favorite, integrated with my Windows desktop. It'll download this Zoho WorkDrive plugin. I simply have to open it, follow the steps, and just, you know, I think it's three or four steps. And by doing that, it'll allow me actually to, like I said, save something in my desktop and it'll appear in WorkDrive. So that's the overview of Zoho WorkDrive. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to keep put them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks guys, bye for now.